Okay. I'm going to do this via video for the rest because I just can't deal with Facebook Live dropping me 500 times. And I don't know why it's doing it. I don't, it's not, the internet, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Just don't. Okay, so let's continue on. I have done my eyebrows. Um, hopefully somewhere in that breakdown you saw the trick. Um, so what I um, learned from another presenter that I actually really liked and I'm going to share with you um, because I have such issue with my eyebrows is using our concealer and concealer brush and um, using the mineral pigment sexy so this is our concealer brush obviously this is our concealer um, if you have not tried our concealer I highly suggest that you do um, even if you are not looking to even if you don't have blemishes um, there are so many things you can do with our concealer from highlighting to you know I mean it's just it's an amazing product um, so I put an itty bitty amount on my hand and I've already smashed it down and I'm gonna put I put some sexy it's a very um, iridescent whitish pinkish color um, into the lid and I'm just going to put a little bit, I'm going to mix a little bit into the concealer. I know you're thinking, what the hell is she doing? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Because I didn't use a highlight underneath my brow like I normally do. Normally that's um, one of the first things or last things, depending on the color scheme I'm doing, that I do. But because I've been having such trouble with my eyebrows lately, I just, I saw this and I thought, you know, I kind of like this, this is pretty cool. So I am gonna take the concealer with the sexy on it, and I am gonna use it to go underneath my brow and just clean up that brow line not because I want a perfect line, because I don't, but it's just gonna clean it up a little bit. Now, and if you are like most people and are super busy and you forget to pluck your eyebrows and you got a couple stray hairs, um, which happens to me, honestly, quite frequently, you know, happens, whatever. Just putting it all out there. Um, this is gonna cover it up, so hey, even better. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna do the same thing. And it's working as a highlighter underneath my brow. So I like that too. So there we go. And because our concealers are opaque, it works perfectly for that. So I just finished my eye look right there. What you think? What you think? So since the internet decided to be, or Facebook or whatever, decided to be a little brat, I was able to go get my perfect black eyeliner so that I can tight line my eyes. Um, I don't like doing top eyeliner, but I have found that tight lining the top actually isn't that bad. Uh, it gives me that little bit that I need and it doesn't look like I'm wearing like massive eyeliner on the top. So I've actually recently started tight lining it. And I like it. Other than the fact that 
I swear I'm gonna poke myself in the eye one of these days. Mm -hmm. This size seems to be easier to do than that one. Don't ask me why. Okay. And then for this, I still have a little bit of, on my brush, on my crease brush. So I'm gonna take my rose water. I'm gonna have to, do, have to do a video about rose water because a lot of people don't know what it is and it has a ton of benefits. So we'll get back to that. But nevertheless, I'm gonna squirt a little bit of rose water on there. And I'm gonna go and run my brush underneath like that. Charlie didn't need to make that sound effect, but I did, so there. Okay, moving on. Um, sculpting trio. I know I've been talking a lot about it. I'm going to talk about it again because this is the only month that you are going to be able to score this and get this brush for free, okay? Whoops. My nut just fell off the tree. Uh, this is going to be $49 no matter what. Well, I believe we are going to be selling these um, next month um, for $49. So if you want to wait and get it next month, fine. Go right ahead. But you can buy this too next month for $32. So if you want to get this with this for $49 total, I would get it now. Um, they're going to show that they are on back order. Um, and a lot of people get scared with that. And, I, and I'm not sure why. Yes, you're going to have to wait to get your product that you just paid for. But you're reserving it. You're reserving your item. Um, so go ahead and reserve it. You're still going to get your free brush. And you might not get it till the first week of June. But while everybody else in the first week of June is buying theirs and paying $49 plus $32, you've paid $49 and you've gotten you know, a sculpting trio and a free rush. I mean, just saying. All right. So the sculpting trio, I don't do the full contour. I don't do up here. I don't do down here. I mean, I have, I don't like it. Um, I don't have a big forehead. I feel like if you do up here, you, I feel like you would need to have a big forehead for that. That's my personal opinion. Um, and I don't like doing down here. I, I don't know why I just don't. So I'm gonna do how I do, and you can do how you do. So I'm gonna do in here. You just wanna find where that is right there. Get my war paint on. I always feel like I have war paint on. I guess you totally could do it. Like if you're gonna go outside and play with the boys. Now I used to use the bronzer for this. This way better, way better. Okay, so I got that. Um, I do do it on my nose. Love this trick. Okay. Totally thins out that. And I do do it down here. I feel like my lips, actually I know my lips kind of just run into my skin. They don't give me, I don't have that definition where it plumps out. So I feel like this helps a lot. Okay. So next is your powder right here. 
So you're gonna do these, obviously in your T-zone, right here, do a little right here, do some right here. And you're not gonna see this real well on camera. <clears throat> it's not heavy. I know a lot of people are like, ah, oh, you're putting all this makeup on. For real, once you blend it, you're like, you don't look any different. I mean, I mean, you look different, but you don't look or feel like you are wearing a lot of makeup. And it just normally does not take me this long. You gotta remember that I'm doing this on a demo type basis where I am trying to show you what I do, showing you stuff. So normally when I'm getting ready, it's like done. This is not, I don't sit here and do it this slow. Okay. And remember, this is sewn in. Did you ever forget? He's gonna show you. Yeah, he's gonna show you. It's kind of blonde proof, which I like because I'm blonde. Okay. My favorite is this 3D cream over here. And you use your finger for that. Um, I use my pinky. Well, use whatever finger you want. Um, and you're gonna put this right here and I just pat it. Like that. Pull over here, pat it. I do it right on this bone right here. You can feel bone. Okay. And then I'm gonna blend it. This 3D cream is awesome. It's an awesome highlight. For real, for real. And then some down your nose. I'd say about halfway. Don't get don't be getting all crazy on me now. Okay. What do you think? And then a little bit right there. And I know we already put some other stuff there, but it don't matter. You can put some more. It's not gonna kill us. Some right there. And then you can put a little bit right here in the corners because this right here, you know, a light corner right there and opens up your eye, especially if your eyes are really close together. If you have eyes that are really close together, you want something really light right here because then it will kind of spread them apart and open them up. Okay. So now I'm going to go in here and we're just going to kind of. blend that and I like to kind of clean the brush a little bit before I blend it too much. Super easy. This is not hard at all. I promise you. Okay. Now, think of a Neapolitan. Highlight, got your chocolate. Let's put in a little blush. Um, everything we have is pigment, it's minerals, it's highly pigmented. So you do not need a lot. So here's our blush. This isn't sweet. Um, don't be going and getting in there, okay? This is too much. You just need a little tiny bit, okay? And you're just gonna put, I mean, you, seriously, an itty, itty bit. 
I mean, I blew most of that off and you can still see it. And then we're just gonna work it in. We don't wanna rub anything off that we've already worked with, right? So we're just gonna kinda work that in there. And work that in there. Okay, between our highlight and our contour. Huh? Dang, look at us. Look at this. Good. I'm telling you. And then, I mean, I'm pretty much done other than my mascara, which, I mean, I've already broken the internet a few times here. So, I am going to skip the mascara today. Um, because we all know how to apply that, let's be real. Um, and I'm going to go in with a lip bonbon. Um, I have every single one. I love my lip bonbons. So this one is Red Velvet Cake. So if you are not familiar with a lip bonbon, okay, um, this is way better than an EOS, okay? Um, it's really sturdy construction. It's going to screw on, screw on, screw off. Um, and it has a tint of color. Um, we do have one... Um, we do have one that has no color, if you want one like that. Um, and these are, I've never felt anything like it. You're going to put on your lips and you're going to be like, oh my God, where have you been my whole life? So there's a few products that Unique carries where you really want it to be like, can you make it in this size, please? So I can just do this all over my body. This is one of them. So you can do like a lip pencil and do this over it or um, a, um, oh my God, brain dead. What happened? Anyway, you can do other products and put this over it or you can just do it by itself. Lip stain, that was it. There's that damn squirrel again. See, isn't that really nice color? Really nice color for a lip bonbon. What do you think? And remember, when I wash my face tonight and I wash all of this off, I'm gonna be left with a glowing tan that isn't gonna go anywhere for about four to five days or at least until I've exfoliated it all away. So. That's my show today, peeps, and I'm so sorry that Facebook Live did not want to cooperate, but I do this every Tuesday in my VIP group, um, and shortly, probably, I don't know when, I'm not going to give you an exact date, but I will be moving it to my Facebook wall um, um, once I get a little bit more organized. Um, I have some new people that are going to be coming onto my team here soon, um, and I want to make sure that I give them all the attention that they deserve as their leader. Um, um, because, you know, they deserve that. Um, and so once I have gotten myself a little bit more organized and I can dedicate, um, what I need to, to them, um, and I have gotten this on pretty much on an auto set and can do that, I will bring it to my Facebook wall on a regular basis. Up, up until then, I will do this occasionally, um, but for the most part, it will be in my VIP group, as I usually do, and you are more than welcome to come in there. All you have to do is send me a request, and I will add you in. It is not open to just anybody to jump on in, because otherwise, um, I'd get a whole lot of weirdos in there. I do get a little strange requests. Um, so, if you want to be added into my VIP group, um, just let me know, and I'll add you in, all right? Thanks everybody for watching. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I will go back through all of the live feeds and answer any that are in there. Um, and um, as always, love you. Bye.